Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Now today's a little bit of a different video. We're in my house and we're going to be having a little look at my sim setup. Um, now first things first, you might be wondering what's up with this backwards cap? Well, I need a haircut and due to this coronavirus lockdown, I can't get one. Uh, so I thought I'd put a cap on. And being an Evo owner, all Evo owners know there's only one way you can wear a baseball cap and that's backwards. Now then, uh, this sim setup, why did I build it? Well, basically, Evos, cars in general, they're expensive, aren't they? Uh, track days, they're very expensive. And although I'd love to be out practicing every day or at least a few times a week doing track days, that is just not realistic. The sim setup is good because you can get a lot of practice. You can hone your driving ability to a point, uh, have a lot of fun racing your mates online and it doesn't cost you a penny once you've built it. So that's why I've built it. Now, this particular setup, um, I would say it was probably middle of the range. Um, you can get a lot cheaper, but you can get a lot more expensive. So here we have my desk and this is where I make my YouTube videos. Um, edit all my videos here on a nice comfy desk and this office chair that I'm currently sat on. Um, now, it wasn't too expensive for me to actually just put a little upgrade into this computer, which was already quite a high-end computer to start with, and then just basically have a little bit more graphics so I could put my racing sim um, off that computer. Now, previously I had a racing sim. Uh, I had a Logitech G29, no, G, G920, and it was bolted through the desk here, as you can see. Um, it was bolted there. I had pedals down there. But it was sort of a compromised position because when I'm trying to edit videos, I was doing it hunched over the steering wheel. And then when I want to race, it wasn't quite the same because I want a, a rotating office chair. So um, I decided if I'm going to do it properly, now me and Steve are racing, I want to do it um, nice and solid. And I don't want to have the wheel flexing around or moving around. So I knew from the get go, I'm going to be having everything, having a dedicated frame. Now, um, it's nothing really complicated to get this computer to power these two screens. Um, if I turn that computer on, I can either use this or this, and they're both going to show the exact same image. Now, in theory, I could run Project Cars or whatever racing game I'm running off that screen. Obviously, the steering wheel is over there, so it wouldn't really work. Um, so it just splits the signal, and that's a 4K 60 frames per second signal to each screen. Um, so it's pretty easy to do, actually. Now then, my actual setup here, I went for a Thrustmaster TS300, I think it's called. Um, basically, it's a belt-driven wheel, and it's supposed to give really smooth feedback. Now, that's one thing that is important. Do you want to get a feedback wheel or not, if you are looking to build a setup? Now, false feedback's very, um, it, it's absolutely amazing, the, the difference it would make having it versus not having it. Um, and then after you've got to sort of the, the lower end force feedback wheels, you, you then just pay in really for strength, smoothness and precision. So you'll get a little bit more feel, but uh, it's not going to be mind blowing. Now then, this frame is a GT Amiga frame. Um, so um, I think I bought it actually on a monthly payment thing. I don't usually do that, um, but it was three payments of a hundred pound and it just sounded a lot more appealing than 300 pound but uh, that was paid off a long time ago um but yeah they can't really beat that three payments of a hundred pound and it's been it's been flawless i mean we got an adjustable seat rail here so the seat goes forward and back um if my friends come over and they want to have a go on it uh it used to be a nightmare with a hard mounted seat they can't reach the pedals and me being six foot seven, they always moan, oh, I can't reach the pedals, and they got to scoot up on the seat. But now they don't have that problem. If I do get visitors, they can jump on, chuck the seat forward, have some fun, and then they can put it back, or I can put it back when I jump back on. Okay, so we're going to be taking the Lamborghini GT3 car around Hockenheim. I have no traction control, no um, stability control on. Uh, it's a very aggressive setup, and... It's quite difficult to drive fast, 
but uh, if you can nail it, it does get really good times. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get my excuses out of the way first. I'm not very good at Hockenheim. I practiced a lot on it. I'm just not very good at it. So here we are. Anyway, let's go. One lap. <laughs> see more videos on this setup in the future let me know in the comments um, I've got a few ideas for some interesting videos uh, there's an Evo on here I've also got a rally game of Evos Celica GT4s and stuff on it as well uh, I've got a few ideas for that but uh, yeah you let me know in the comments cheers guys